Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places? Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They didn't want anything. They're deviants. End of story. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. I could kill you. And you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not.
You clutch. Pick them up and make it snap. We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. You can come down here. Oh, oh, God, okay, uh, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
need your help. Access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in.
You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this. Cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Follow me. What are you doing? Call Central! Fast! Simon's been shot! I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. to record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand fair compensation for our work.
We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. Found the bodies of two victims, a guard and one of our channel operators, both apparently shot dead by the terrorists in what apparently seems to be a terrorist attack. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? <laughs> 